Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. In this video, we're going to go over three ways you can use Python to download a file or web page or somewhere on the web that has an accessible uh, URL. So we're going to go over the three ways. I'm going to give you examples of each way and uh, we're going to do them one by one. I ask that you hit the subscribe button. If, if you're viewing this video and you get anything out of it, please hit the sub. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'd really appreciate it. I've only got like 300 right now. and you know, I've made a, over a hundred videos. So if you could hook me up, I'd appreciate it. Well, let's get right into it. So the first way uh, we do this is we're going to start with an import of something called URL lib. Okay, and we're going to import URL lib dot request. We're going to select our URL or just whatever the target URL is. HP colon slash slash www dot example dot com slash my file dot txt. So that's the target URL. And then URL lib dot, oops, excuse me, dot request dot URL. So you see these methods here, URL retrieve, and we're going to pass into it our URL and then the file name uh, where we store this file in our current working directory. I have not put this in quotes, but I should. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit the play button in our PyCharm IDE. And it should save a file here. Um, oh crap! Well, I don't. I don't think that this file actually exists. You know, we can just go with. Uh, we'll just download the homepage. No worries. And we've saved it as my. This is just the URL of the homepage of example.com. All right. So there you go. That's uh, example number one. The, the problem was that, <laughs> I don't know why I used, I added the my file dot suffix. I just downloaded the homepage there as, as uh, HTML. Okay, now let's move on to uh, example number two. Uh, example number two uses requests. We're gonna import requests. We're gonna set our URL to equal the target URL. Uh, the response is going to equal to be equal to requests dot get of the URL. Request dot get of the URL, and then we're going to use this with open my file dot txt, and then the parameter wb as f f dot write response dot content. Let's just take a little visual inspection, make sure that's right, response.content, my text, my file, let's open. All right, let's run that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this just so that we can see that it's been regenerated. Let's delete you. Don't need to search any comments or anything, just delete anyway. It's probably going to make me import this, isn't it? Yeah. I don't have this imported. See. If you're using different, uh, whatchamacallit, if you're using different IDEs or if you're just running it from your computer directly, just from terminal, you might have to use pip install for this requests package. I thought I had it already installed, but I didn't. So we're just gonna go over to preferences and we're going to go into um, the project interpreter, and then we're gonna add in here requests we're going to install that package, and that's why this was uh, had the red underline. Okay, the package was successfully installed, and then there you go. My file.txt just appeared, and there's the URL. So what's what's you know you can I'll just let you watch that appear. Let's re rerun it one more time. And you'll see right there, yep, there it goes, it appears again. Okay, so that was example number two, how to do this using requests. I'm gonna copy this URL, so I'm gonna type it out again. And then the final one is we're gonna use a library called shutil. So import, we're not gonna import, we're gonna import shutil, import requests. Okay, I'm gonna URL response equals request dot get URL stream equals true 
cruise the keyword with open my file.txt. I'm going to do that WB again. I forget what that even means, but you got to have it in there as F. Copy file object, pass into it a response raw and f. I'm going to re reread this and make sure it's okay. Yeah, that looks good enough. And then you see my file just magically appeared there once more. We'll take a look inside. Hmm. The file was loaded in the wrong encoding. Interesting. So there was an encoding issue. Um, we're not going to debug that now, but that's the third way you can do it, uh, using, oh, you want to know why? Let's change that there, see what happens. Anyway, those are three ways you do it. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Actually, no, I'm just going to debug this and I'll edit these two together. Hold on.